We're joined now by sporting director for New York City Football Club, David Lee. And David, thanks for a few moments. And uh, maybe trying week isn't the right term, uh, but you mentioned in the press conference after Ronnie Donald went to Standard Liege how this had been something that had occurred since uh, the end of MLS Cup and what you guys were working on. At what point did you say, you know what, I think we just have to let it run its course and move on? I think it was probably only last week, honestly. Um, I think we were still pretty hopeful that Ronnie would stay um, up until the middle of last week. And, you know, that situation changed when Standard Liège came in and met a clause in Ronnie's contract. And it, and it meant that we, you know, the decision sort of shifted from our decision of whether we wanted him to stay or go into Ronnie's decision. And he had a choice of if he wanted to stay or leave. And he informed us uh, middle of last week that he, that he wanted to go. And so pretty much my Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday of last week was uh, finishing and finalizing that. that and then informing the team. So you, you mentioned this clause in his contract. Is that equivalent to a release clause for a player? Essentially, yes. Um, essentially, yes. So, um, you know, I think they were aware of, of the amount of money they would need to spend in order to in order to activate that clause, and, and they said they would do it. And, you know, like I say, so we had to then adjust and react, and I think we're really fortunate the position we're in with the staff that we have to, a, to sort of hopefully have what we think will be a, a relatively seamless transition now uh, mid-season. I thought I was having an emotional week last week, and then you popped into my mind, and I knew it would have been a difficult one for you, but I'm always really impressed with the way that you stack the squad, the way you stack the coaches, basically next man up mentality. Now, was this the vision for Nick when he was brought to the club that maybe one day, if he improves and he learns, he might get a shot? I don't think it was ever the specific plan or goal that Nick would step into this role but I think what we try and do is similar to players we want to have players who players and staff who are ready to take the next step um, and you're hoping to grow them to improve them and those opportunities come when you least expect them you know I've been very fortunate in my career City Football Group have given me wonderful opportunities to to grow in my role into the position I'm in now and you know I think we feel like Nick was a fantastic candidate um, and you know we're just so fortunate that really that he's here um, I've said fortunate and I've also said well designed you know I think we've you, what you try and do when you're building the club is to to have this in place so that when these situations do occur that you don't expect you can have a, a transition like we've had in the last week which I think has been as, as smooth as we could have hoped for so Nick when you talk about the contingency plans with that staff how do you think that carries over to the team that there is that continuity yeah, I think it's a massive, massively important part of what we do. Um, and I think Nick's been able to step in really from Saturday when we informed the team. Obviously, the public announcement came Monday morning. Um, and the players have just sort of adjusted. You know, they are all used to this. The coaching changes do happen. Everyone's sort of been through them. And I think the familiarity they have with Nick and, you know, the methodology we have, there's so, so much continuity there that I think it's helpful for the players that they know sort of what the training week's going to look like. And while, of course, there'll be some minor tweaks, every coach brings their own sort of unique stamp to what we do. Um, um, a lot of things look very similar and we hope that will then show in our performances and ultimately the results that we're so proud of what we've had the first first sort of part of the season and we're hoping and expecting that to continue now. I love how we're passing the microphone around here. I mean, this is the most complicated thing I've ever done, but it's just an honor to have you up here. And obviously the job you've done, really at the end of last season, we saw you lifting the trophy and emotionally how much it meant to you. Obviously, Ronnie was a big part of that, but so was the leadership in this group of players that you have put together. How important are those players going to be going forward now under Nick? Massive, absolutely massively important. We spoke to all of them um, sort of as the decisions were coming through over the weekend, wanted to make sure Sean, Maxi, Anton, Maxime, you know, the, that, that senior leadership group, Alfredo, you know, that that, that group is going to have a, an important role. We've got a lot of young players, you know, a lot of players who at our club have only worked with Ronnie. Um, and so, you know, I think they, they'll take on an outsized role in, in making sure that the management of the transition is from their side is, is helped. And ultimately, me and my staff need to do the same. You know, we've got fantastic people all throughout the club, and our job is to make sure we make it as easy as we can for the players.